Yeah, she's on camera. Okay. Come over here. Okay. Now turn, turn around this way. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Guess what? The chair dog came and de decided to join us today. I know. Well, she decided, you know, this is her place. Uh, I know, and she owns it. Are we doing everything okay? Uh, what do you think? What's the best news today? The Slurpee Kisses? What, what? Oh, what should get Slurpee Kisses today, huh? Hmm. Okay. So anyway, we're here with Monty Bubbles, the chair dog. She makes certain that, well, we used to say that dogs couldn't vote, right? Yes, but we, she makes certain that we are on track when it comes to the news because, yes, she doesn't care whether it's left or right. She just cares about doggy treats, right? Oh, I said the men's accord. Anyway, mm -hmm. anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Sorry, when I get to the production side, so Like that? Yeah, well, I can't watch it. We just sit there and... No, but do you like it like that? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Monty's coming in. It's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because, uh, let me put it this way, they said Chuck Schumer in his entire career has never shown an inkling of doing anything for anyone other than Chuck Schumer. So if he's asking Republicans to join with him, he's preparing to screw the Republicans. And they said, <sighs> the, one of the people last night said, don't trust these people, because the last time they suggested something, the... Uh, that it never, they, they basically legalized 15 million illegal aliens and didn't get the wall. They said, Obama right now is talking about, he likes everything, we have to do the one thing first and then we'll do the other next. And so you'll never get the border protection if they go that way. And they said the Republicans will never pass it. One guy, I heard one person said last night, he said, who the hell cares whether we have their support? He said if the President of the United States got 70% of the people that voted, he still only got 15% of the vote, for Christ's sake. Mm. And bars with 80,000 gallons of oil hits bridge and leaks. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that basically anything over a certain size has 80,000 barrels of oil for its engine capacity. So and they, I, I, Monty will let you know something very simple. She knows about ships. They all leak. Mm. Every single one of them. Everything from the... From a, from uh, a self-powered, you know, rear-engine boat on up to a big ship, they leak. <laughs> and ghost of Martin Luther King pays visit to Obama on SNL. I know, trying to remind Obama that, that he, he is, they, I, I like that. You gotta remind me, hey guys, you remember, you, you go look mirror lately, he said, you don't look like those guys on dollar bills, so. Oh, did he? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and family heading to Turkey to seek missing New York woman. Well, as I understand, that she was taking an awful lot of unscheduled side trips. So I'm assuming oh. that the woman that's missing in Turkey is probably not an ordinary grandmother. Um, yeah. And union membership falls to lowest percentage in 76 years. Yeah, because the unions are they're basically fed up with the unions. Obama and the Democrats are about to lose their biggest source of income because they, they uh, what happened too is they lost the thing the courts, the, the, a, a democratic controlled court voted unanimously that he violated the Constitution. And every, all of these laws that these people passed in the last year are, un, are illegal and they're all going to be thrown out one by one. He said it doesn't make any difference if they were done so they're legal. No. He said that when you know that what you're doing is illegal, that oh, everything's illegal. If you do it with the presumption that it is legal, but since Congress was in session, both houses were in session. They were holding meetings. That makes the decision. And he violated it. He said, well, other presidents do it. No, a recess appointment. They said the President of the United States has a problem. Isn't that with, kind of cut and dry? It's a recess appointment? It's a recess appointment saying Congress may not be in session. And if they're holding sessions, doesn't that say if we're holding sessions, therefore we have to be in session to hold mm. a session? And... A Massachusetts governor wants a tax hike for $34.8 billion budget. Well, they can't cover their bills because the state is broke. And you know why they're broke? Why? Romney care busted them. Oh. They're covering, you know, how many people they covered with Romney care? Exactly the same amount of people that they covered before Romney care. So? It made no difference except now everybody has to, you know, that the, the, 
some people are paying more than they would have paid for health insurance to begin with, and other people are still not paying for it. So, And Massachusetts governor wants, oh, actually, into deep space, second U.S. firm takes aim at mining asteroids. That's not going to happen because there is, a, there is a law specifically prohibiting the, uh, it's why do you think that, um, you know, Richard Branson and others are having problems with their uh, space travel thing because you really, you, you cannot have a guided missile. You can have a guided airplane, but to shoot, to take something to outer space to mine, you have to have a guided missile. You cannot, American companies are not permitted to have guided, guided systems because it only takes somebody to, can you imagine what happens if somebody goes and uh, takes control of a missile, a, a guided missile, he dumps a nuclear bomb in the middle of a major city in the United States. That's why they're not allowed to have them. They're never going to be allowed to have them in this country. And U.S. crude oil supplies rise by 2.8 million barrels. Because nobody's going anywhere. Now, how do you know? Well, they're saying Obama administration because it's the legislation we've passed. You know, making it uh, making it cars more economical. No, they're traveling less miles. Yeah. The, remember how they had this grand prediction over the uh, Christmas holidays that all these people are going to be traveling. Well, they travel, but they didn't go out of town. Mm. If you don't go out of town, you don't use go oil. So. People that they can't afford stuff. And Lockheed Martin, fourth quarter net income falls 17%. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the Obama isn't ordering airplanes at the moment. Nobody's ordering anything in our country because they know there's going to be a $500 billion cut to start with. And since Chuck Hagel doesn't believe in the military, he said, well, this is a decorated veteran. And uh, he's also a liberal Republican, a liberal pub Republican is a moderate Democrat, and they don't like the military. And Netflix shares soar after surprise profit. They didn't make, okay, they made a profit of about a, a couple of million bucks. You know how they made a profit of a couple million bucks? They uh, stopped spending on some of the things they were spending on. Mm. So that's where money comes from. And when you stop spending, that's not counted as a profit. It's just simply, it's a business decision not to continue to spend on something that's losing money. Yeah. Cold snap torments those still without heat after Sandy. Uh, yeah, because, they, I mean, people are basically taking the wood and stuff uh, from the things and burning it because, you know, 60, you know, 50, was it 50 days after Hurricane Sandy, the President of the United States finally signed a piece of legislation that basically is going to build for green infrastructure and all kinds of things, and nobody gets a new, nobody gets their house rebuilt. Mm. None of the businesses get rebuilt. Nothing. It's all for the bureaucrats. And California governor urges budget restraint despite rebound. There is no rebound of this. That we're rolling in money in California. The only problem is if we're rolling in money, why is it the budget is like twenty billion dollars? Uh, in the wrong direction. Uh, you think if we were rolling in money, there wouldn't be a budget deficit. <laughs> so you're not rolling in money. It's just it's, what it is. It's a smoke and mirror to make it look like all Brown's things are working. U.S. Homeland Chief Cyber 11 9 11 could happen imminently. Yeah, any day they want to do it because they show that they can. Trainees show that they can hit our intelligence stuff anytime they want, and then some kid with a computer does it. Oh, I yeah. a couple of relatives that did it and basically in advance we were using the telephone system again. So. I know, and they were just kids. Yeah, but well, they gave everybody at the school they were at free, cell, free uh, telephone service forever. So. And Fox News and Palin cutting ties. Yeah, because they, um, what it was is they wanted to, they, you know, it was all over money and nothing else. Because they wanted to cut back her appearances and cut back her appearances and give her reporters pay, and she. No. I'm not going to work for reporters pay every, you know, because, so that's ridiculous. So. That is ridiculous because part of it is she's a personality. And she still controls the right of the Republican Party, which that means they're going to have to bring her on, but they'll bring her on <laughs> without being paid for doing it now. Mm -hmm. Pentagon cutting jobs maintenance due to budget fears. That's why Lockheed Martin is down in, in profits because they're part of the people that are being cut, that, you know. It works because they know, okay, even though Obama has promised that don't worry, you don't have to do any cuts, by law they have to notify people 30 days before they're going to do the cuts, and they're notifying them now. And Syrian troops and militia pushed to take Sunni Homs area. Yeah, they said that they keep saying Assad is about to fall. As they're saying Assad is about to fall, his military is taking back the entire country city by city. Mm. A U.S. mom missing in Turkey took mysterious excursions. That's what I was talking about. That mom was probably 
Uh, yeah. I mean, um, she worked for a company that had three letters starting with C, I, and an A. Uh huh. And think preventative medicine will save money? Think again. No, it doesn't because um, uh, I'll give you an example right now. They're deciding where preventative medicine should be given. To. Should it be given towards somebody my age or somebody that's young? Should it be giving somebody that's fat or somebody that's healthy? Should it be giving to somebody that smokes or somebody that doesn't smoke? They said everything that everyone predicted about Obamacare is on the verge of happening.